Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box. Gangster Two Times. dealers have been jailed for almost 10 years after separate police investigations took a firearm, Class A drugs and more than £150,000 in criminal cash off the streets. Gary Dolan is 34 of Bedford, was arrested as part of a major policing operation to tackle a notorious loot and drugs gang. Meanwhile, Azim Khan, who's 22, posted photos of himself on Facebook in possession of a firearm before officers swooped in to arrest him, recovering cash and drugs in the process. This week, the pair have been jailed for four years and eight months, and five years respectively. Detective Chief Inspector Louisa Glynn from Bedfordshire Police said, both of these cases demonstrate the serious consequences that awaits anyone who gets involved in organised crime. We know Bedfordshire faces a significant challenge from the illegal drugs trade, its associated violence and exploitation of children and other vulnerable people. But we will not stop pursuing those involved in peddling this misery, as well as working with different agencies and communities across Bedfordshire to protect people at risk of exploitation and offer them a brighter future. Police seized six mobile phones from Doolan and an associate in February last year as part of an investigation into an organised crime group's illegal activity. In April 2024, warrants were carried out in Bedford, Kempston and Luton. Doolan was arrested at an address in Bedford. At the address, police recovered around £25,000 worth of cocaine, as well as nearly £150,000 in cash. The cash was spread across the address being hidden in a locked safe, concealed within clothing, hidden within a pram, and inside a rucksack. Police also recovered multiple items of designer clothing and expensive jewellery, including a Rolex watch. Dolan pleaded guilty to possession with intent to supply Class A drugs, as well as possession of criminal property. And on Tuesday the 22nd of June, he was sentenced to four years and eight months in prison for the drug offences, and 18 months with the criminal property offence, which will be served at the same time. In a separate investigation, police established Azim Khan, was involved in the supply of Class A drugs and also had access to a firearm. Detectives took action and carried out a warrant at his address in October. Following a search at the address, officers located a loaded handgun with a suppressor in the loft of the property, as well as ammunition and ecstasy worth almost £7,000. A few months prior, in May 2020, Khan had been stopped and searched in a Luton park where he was found in possession of cannabis cash and multiple phones. A full search of the vehicle Khan was travelling in, then uncovered crack cocaine and heroin. Yesterday, Khan was handed five years in prison for two counts of possession of a prohibited firearm. He was given a sentence of three years and nine months for five counts of drug dealing offences, which will be served at the same time. He had also pleaded guilty to all offences. A woman fleeing an arranged marriage was tracked down to a secret safe house and attacked while she was hiding with a younger sister. The victim was 24 years old had quit her family home with a sister after she was designated a husband who had been in prison for drug offences. But despite being assigned a place in hiding by social services, the two young women were found just five months later and confronted by a gang of three men who had been dispatched to return them home. So the victims struggled with their attackers but managed to shut the front door in their faces before an eyewitness alerted police. The pair both escaped injury and are thought to have been rehoused elsewhere and it's not known how the men found out about the location of the safe house. At Minishal Street Crown Court, Harun Ilyas, who's 42 of Crumpsall, Manchester, was jailed for five years after he admitted using violence to coerce someone into marriage and breaching a court order. Ilyas's father and his brother Kwasim of Berry were jailed each for nine months after admitting other charges relating to the attack. Allegations against all three men of attempted kidnap were dropped. The court heard how the victim had taken out a forced marriage protection order against her own family after learning she had been ordered to marry one of her cousins. Miss Shirley Duckworth prosecutor said the groom she was supposed to be marrying had been remanded in custody for being concerned in the supply of drugs. She did not agree to this, but she says pressure was put on her to marry him in 2018, but it was put on hold when he was arrested. When the marriage was supposed to happen in November 2019, she refused to marry him as he was a criminal. The argument got worse after she turned 24 and in December 2019 she was told about the arrangements of the wedding 
which had been booked for the end of the month. It was then a decision was made by her to flee the house with her three younger siblings. She bought a car and drove them all to a place of safety and two younger siblings were put into foster care while temporary accommodation was given to the complainants and her sister. But numerous unwanted phone calls were received and the complainants believed her life was in danger. She knew her family would be ashamed because invitations had been sent out and arrangements had been made. So a forced marriage protection order was granted on July the 27th, 2020, which was designed to protect the women from their family, but the pair were tracked down on 25th of January this year. Miss Duckworth added at approximately half five, two women heard a knock at the door and saw the driver from the takeaway shop next door. But she then saw three men trying to barge in. They were all screaming and the delivery driver shouted at the men to get out. Quasim was telling them to be quiet, trying to put his hand over the complainant's mouth, but she managed to step out of the way. The other siblings said the door was barged open and it nearly squashed her against the wall. Two of the defendants grabbed her by the wrists as she was struggling. An eyewitness stated, I saw some men run into the flat and heard the victim screaming and I went to assist. I knew something wasn't right and could see a struggle in the doorway. I told the men to leave the women alone and I called the police. All three men initially denied wrongdoing. The court heard the women's family believe they made up stories to get money to foster children for profit. But the victim said in a statement, I am very scared for myself and my sister. I am scared these people will find out where my brother and youngest sister are. The defence solicitor for Haroon, Denise Fitzpatrick, said he is remorseful and he is very, very sorry about the consequences this has had and he is regretful. He understands he should not have done it. And sentencing the judge, Mr. Recorder Michael Duck QC, said of the victim, she did not want to take part in that marriage because of that individual, but it is clear her wishes were ignored. So that's a couple of stories there for you. Let me know what you think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.